Random math problem number 57. 3 minus x, 2x, and 3x plus 1 are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression. If 6x minus k is the sixth term, then k is equal to... Okay, so try yung sagutan muna bak kahit na wala pang mga choices. Okay, so ito ang mga choices natin. So ang question na ito ay nanggaling sa FB group na... Ayan, upcut, poopset, DOST, asset, ayan. So, hello, can someone explain this? I already forgot. Hehe, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so ito yung uh, choices natin, negative 3, 5, 2, negative 4. So, medyo malabo yung uh, malabo yung question. So, linawan natin. Okay. So, ayan mga choices natin, negative 3, 5, 2, and negative 4. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin formula ay formula ng arithmetic progression. So, ano ba ang formula ng uh, arithmetic progression? So, formula for arithmetic progression is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, where a sub n is the last term or the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Okay, so ang hinahanap natin dito, 6 term lang. If 6x minus k is the 6 term, okay? So, hanggang 6 term lang tayo, ito yung nth term. Then k is equal to, so ang sinasolve natin ay itong k. So since 6 term lang ang magiging formula natin ay, ang n natin ay 6. a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1. So ang n natin ay 6, isubtract na natin yung 1. So therefore, a sub 1 plus 5 times d. Okay, so pero hindi pa natin alam yung uh, first term, second term, and uh, third term. So ito yung first term. Second term is 2x, third term is 6x plus 1, and then we have sixth term is 6x minus k. Hindi pa natin alam, so isusolve muna natin yung values ng first, second, third, and then itong sixth term. Bago natin masolve si k, isusolve muna natin ang value ng x para masolve natin ang, ang value ng k. Okay, so sa arithmetic progression, ang difference ng second term minus first term ay equal yan sa difference ng third term minus the second term. So, kaya nga pro arithmetic progression, meron silang common difference. So, therefore, ang maging equation natin, yung 3 minus, minus second term. So, we have, enclose natin sa parenthesis para malinaw. So, this is the third term. 3x plus 1, isasubtract natin yung second term which is 2x. Okay? And then, equal siya sa 2x, second term, 2x, minus the first term, 3 minus x. Okay, so masasolve na lang natin dito ang x. Okay, so tanggalin lang natin yung mga parentheses. So we have 3x plus 1 minus 2x is equal to 2x. So dito mababago dahil uh, negative sign bago yung parentheses. So change natin yung nasa loob ng ng parenthesis. So, positive 3 here will become negative 3 and then negative x will become positive x. So, just combine like terms. So, we have 3x minus 2x. So, that will give us x. Just copy positive 1 equals 2x and then plus x. May invisible yan na 1. 2x plus 1x. We have 3x. So, just copy negative 3. So, combine natin yung x sa isang side and then yung constant naman, yung number lang, sa bilang side. Dahil mas malaki itong 3x, so itong x na lang ang ilipat natin. Pag nilipat yan dito, magiging negative. And then si negative 3 naman, ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging siyang positive. Okay, so therefore we have negative 3 will become positive. So we have 3, just copy plus 1, equal. So just copy 3x, positive x, lumipat sa kabila, we have negative x. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, equals 3x minus, may invisible na 1, 3x minus 1x is equal to 2x. So, solve for uh, x, divide both sides by 2. So, therefore, the value of x is equal to 4 divided by 2, the value of x is 2. So, pwede na nating masolve ang first term, second term, and third term. Substitute lang natin yung mga values natin, values natin ng x. Okay, so, first term... So, for the first term, we have 3 minus x. So, 3 minus x, the value of x is 2. So, 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1. Okay, first term. Second term. So, second term, 2 times x. So, we have 2 times x, but x is equal to 2. So, 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Okay, so third term. 
So for the third term, 3x plus 1. So 3 times x, but x is 2 plus 1. That is equal to 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. So we have 7. Okay, verify natin. So anong difference nila? 4 minus 1, 3. And then 7 minus 4, 3. So tama. Ang, ang common difference natin, ang value ng d, the value of d is equal to 3. And our first term, a sub 1 is equal to equal to 1. Okay, so just substitute. So the value of a sub 6 is 6x minus k. Okay, so but the value of x is, is positive 2. So just uh, substitute all the values to this formula. So we have 6x minus k. That is the sixth term. And a sub 1, we have equals 1 plus 5 times d. But the value of d is 3. Okay, so 5 times 3. So let's substitute the value of x. The value of x in 6x minus k is x equals 2. So substitute the value of x that is 2. So we can now solve for k. So just simplify 6 times 2, we have 12 minus k is equal to 1 plus 5 times 3. This is equal to 15. Okay, 15 plus 1, so we have 16. So solving for k, so put 12 to the other side. We have negative k is equal to 16. Positive 12 will become negative 12. So therefore, negative k is equal to 16 minus 12. That will give us 4. And then since the sign of k is negative, multiply both sides by negative. So therefore, simply change the sign. K is equal to negative 4. So therefore, the answer is letter D, negative 4. Okay, so that's it. So I hope nagustuhan yung explanation sa problem na ito. Kung meron kayong math question, ay i-comment nyo lang dito sa aking channel or sa aking FB group na minamanage uh, or i-DM nyo lang ako sa aking messenger. I-follow nyo na rin ako, RJ and Senyado. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless. See you sa mga susunod pang video tutorials.